Hey YouTube, we are back here, me and my brother Caleb, hey. with Dakota and his epic collection. He's got some new stuff that we're gonna show off. We've got a new Doomerals in. Gorgeous, it's a female. So we will be taking some video here off and on of some of the new animals. Uh, and maybe we can get this big girl out. I don't know, how does she, how's she been doing for you? She's pretty good. She's been doing pretty good? Good. So yeah, we'll show you some cool stuff today. So we'll be right back. All right guys, he surprised me. He didn't tell me about this. Do you know what the gender is? It's a female. This is a green anaconda. What a treat. I may get bit, I don't know. It's not too big. But you said she, she does pretty good? Yeah, she's good. One. Where'd you get her? Nerd. From Nerd? Oh, he's got he's got a bunch of these, huh? Mm. Look at that. Let me get in the window here for some light. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I've never. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I'm jealous now. Got any ideas about final enclosure someday? This summer I have to get something for her. For that one, probably do something similar. Yeah. Like a six foot. Wow. Yeah, I mean you can get good stuff. Animal plastics, vision cages, you can get some, some good for mid-sized animals, but eventually, I mean this one, especially the green. You're gonna have to have something gigantor. That is awesome. Look at that, look at those bug eyes. Wow, she's so nice too. You know, these guys and retics still have the reputation of just biting constantly. Yeah, I think for anacondas it's more, like if you get them more captive bred. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. More like farm bred, imported. Right? They're a lot more likely to bite. You wanna hold her? Hold her. So smooth. Yeah. And anacondas are actually boids. They're in the boa family, right? Let go, me girl. Do you have a name for her yet? Swampy. Swampy. I like it. Wow. So this is a Kevin McCurley animal, you said? That is epic. Oh man, that's so cool. Oh, now my wife is gonna be upset that she did not come. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to come in. Yeah. All right, what should we pull out next? All right, we've got some fire skinks in here. That's awesome. Okay. Got a couple of savanna monitors in here. Yeah, way more chill than my tree monitor. Have you gone in to eat it? Yeah, yeah. Only crickets though. He won't take the roaches. Do you want to hold him? Yeah, do you want to hold him killed? Sure. Alright there, little guy. They look pretty healthy. These guys are supposed to be one of the more tame species too. And small. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. What have you been feeding them? Training, uh, and get more crickets because they go through that really quick, but mostly mealworms. Dubia roaches aren't really big enough for them to notice yet. 
basically just, you know. So you're still, still having trouble getting the dubious to grow? Yeah, I got the heat pad under. I noticed a little bit of growth, but not a whole lot. Well, I've got dubious out my ears and my monitor won't eat them, so maybe I can trade you some dubious for crickets. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these do you have? Savannahs? Mm -hmm. Seven. So it was six, and then I got that anery I told you about. Oh, yeah. Well, anery type. I think that's actually the one. Yeah. It's hard to notice. Yeah. It's not great lately. Pretty cool though. Awesome. Hey guys, we showed you this one last time, but I'm showing you again. This is the African file snake. And this one does okay, right? Uh, that one has a really strong feeding response, so I know if you like touch him on the side, you might come back. Oh, yep. You can see That is amazing looking. Was this just a wild cat? Yeah, that's why she has all the scars. scars and stuff. It's not a lot of captive bread for these guys. Yeah. But she's eating fine and everything? Mm, she'll eat pretty much every week. That's awesome. So crazy looking. They don't look anything like a regular snake. <laughs> it's like a little dragon. Hey guys, so we were about to pull out this Abronia, who has been like his puppy dog, totally tame, super nice, and she just bit him good. <laughs> Munching down this mealworm, and next is his thumb. <laughs> Which species is this? Deppy. Hi. All right, he's pulling out his yellow anaconda. Female, right? Do you have a name for her? Lemon Beast. Lemon Beast? Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Meet Lemon Beast. Wow. That is an awesome snake. Remind me where you got her? Trip well. Yeah, supposedly anacondas are kind of masters of sideways striking. <laughs> like you think they're not zoned in on you, but then they're zoned in on you. Yeah, she seems to be doing real well. I'm sure she'll 
I'm sure she'll appreciate our nice bigger cage mm -hmm. this summer. They just even move differently. What's up, Lemon Beast? Look at this, guys. Tiny, tiny baby house snake. Here, can we get it in the window light? All right. That is beautiful. Wow. What do you even feed that? Chop pinky? Oh, she'll only take little anoles. Anoles? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It's just miniature. I gotta hold that. That is so cute. I don't think that thing even could bite you. Like how would it even do that? <laughs> I love this snake. It's like a worm. In fact, I think we've caught worms bigger than this. Look at that. Will it ever switch to rodents or does it pretty much just do a nulls? I'm gonna try getting into the like, tiny little pinkies. Maybe send them with them. Yeah. My tree monitor can't handle a whole pinky yet, so I'm gonna chop them. Obviously, kill it first, but. That is an absolutely cute little thing. It's not even scared of me. Look at it, it's like the size of my pinky or smaller. And it's just checking me out. Where are these from, do you know? Africa. These are all, these are African. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta up my knowledge, guys. He's got stuff that I don't even know where it's from. That is so cute. You ever gonna breed these? I'm going to at some point. I know there's like butters and albinos. Really? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. How big are the adults? If I had like two to three feet, I could show you the other one again for a little bit. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. It's not too much. Yeah, I imagine you have to wait to sex these guys too, huh? Because it, it hurt them to, I would think, at least to pop them. Oh man. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. Oh, these are so cool though. And is this one going to turn that color? No, I think black and brown are two different phases. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Isn't that going to eat mine, is it? Shoot. I don't know if this would be considered like a, what is it, like melanistic, amelanistic? It, it wouldn't be like amelanistic, it could be melanistic or yeah, something, I, I don't even know. Something melanistic. Look at these adorable little tiny noodles. I like them a lot. Where do you get these from? Triple F. Triple F. That's right, yeah. That's right. It's like a big one of you. Mm. These are nice. These are Uh, remind me, are these Easterns? Indonesian. Indonesian. I think they're Yuri and Jari. Yuri and Jari. Mm -hmm. These are blue tongue skinks, guys. These are getting more and more popular, it seems like. I love their tiny stubby little legs. All right, well, thank you Dakota for letting us back into your place and showing us awesome stuff. I think I'm just gonna uh, pull out that green anaconda one more time if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Finish us off here. But this has been awesome. So guys, let us know down in the comments what your favorite thing was that we pulled out. Pull out the the green again.
I don't know, of today's experience, this might be my favorite. She's beautiful. Not nearly as intimidating yet as that big yellow one. Anyways, uh, we look forward to hearing from you in the comments. And you can look us up on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, our website, or you can just email us at thereptilebarn at gmail.com. Until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.